So I'm on the road just doing some work and stuff, talking to the camera a little bit today. Um, mostly talking to Dean if Dean comes in, but if anybody else is listening, or everybody. Um, so one of the things I'm talking about is how easy it is to digitally collect the EMNC from all around us. And I'm just sticking my camera out of my sunroof and um, I'm bopping around town. Sometimes I'm shopping, sometimes I'm working, sometimes I'm doing shit around the house, whatever. I'm always working, doing something. And it doesn't take anything to make these videos. Now, granted, I'm talking to the camera a lot today. I learned over the years, and I'm making these suggestions to anyone else that's going to make these videos. Don't even bother um, talking to the camera. Just, it, it's, this is a visual evidence that we're doing here. You don't need to explain things or talk to the fucking camera. If people want to chime in and write cool clouds or cloud art or cool filters and shit like that and try to make the videos about that, you're not going to respond to those people. Those are not people that are, they're not seeing it. There's, even if they are seeing it, they're not admitting that they see it. They're trying to change the subject and the story back to um, false realities. And we're all done with that, Dean. We're all done with false reality. So that's why I'm suggesting to you that making these videos is so fucking easy. It doesn't matter if you're working or not. On your way to work, you have one of these cheap-ass cameras. Expense is also cannot be a concern or a, an excuse. Not in reality. It's not reality-based because I'm broker than fucking broke. I'm poor as shit. I'm going to be homeless living in my car in a few weeks. And I'm still going to make the videos and post them as much as I can. Whenever I'm around somewhere that has internet, I will post them. Um, but, you know, it might be a year I might be gone. Who the fuck knows as bad as things are right now and as bad as they're all going. Holy shit, man. We're not going to... YouTube is going to be a whole different ball game this time next year. There's going to be no more uh, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech was all a myth. You know, constitutional rights and all that shit. No, 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 no. It's all done. It's, it was been done for a long time, but now they're letting people know that it was all fake. You know? And even as they let them know, and even as they're told and, and uh, suggested that they should look at some of these realities, just a few, just a few realities, not the reality, not all reality, just a couple things that might be based on reality. The fact that you have no rights and you're just a dumbed down zombie slave, that you're, uh, you know, you've been indoctrinated through the same uh, education that your children are being indoctrinated with, those kind of truths, and you won't even look at those. So, kind of ridiculous to uh, to expect anybody to come to terms with any of this. And it's funny that uh, I'm talking about this right now, too, because uh, I was saying to Dean that, um, you know, he was asking, how do you deal with it? You know, how do you deal with everybody when you're seeing it? And I think what's happening to him right now is that he's trying to show it to other people in his life. And they're all saying, no, no, no. And they're all saying, no, no, no. And he's like, yes, yes, yes. It's right there. We can all see it. And they're all saying, no, no, no. So that gets frustrating. And I was explaining to him that um, I can't say it was easy, but it, it was one year after another. And you kind of learn. And I'm sure that I'm still learning now. Thank you. I'm sure that I'm still even learning right now to this day um, about it all.
because I'm looking at right now, uh, I was just doing a turnaround because my uncle, one of my uncles, is going into the store over here. And my family was tight. They were all very tight. And a lot of them, it was a big family, they were all tight. And now I don't talk to any of them anymore. I'm all done with it all. Um, for the same reasons that I'm talking to you, and, and, and the same reasons that I'm telling you that you can't expect it. I mean, you got your girlfriend that um, is able to see it, and she's admitting to seeing it. That's more than I got. And my wife and I, I mean, my wife is a nurse, and a lot of her family are in the medical industry. A lot of my direct family, blood relatives, are in the medical industry. You know what kind of fucking scum we're dealing with when it comes to people that are in the medical industry? I'd say it's even worse than law enforcement to me, as far as I'm concerned, you know, um, it's disgusting. It really is. Um, the, the food industry, uh, food fraud, um, cause it's not really food them combined and working in conjunction with the people who are in charge of the chemtrails. And then you look at that and then you look at the medical industry. So everybody's in cahoots with each other. Um, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. And then you try to point any of those things out to people and they are not going to, they're not going to look, they're not going to look at the, the mineral streets and see them for anything more than condensation trails, right? They're not going to look at it for the geoengineering, even when the United Nations spills the beans, like they do all the time, they purposely spill the beans, starting to rain a little. Um, and they let people know their fucking plan and everything, just like the EU is doing right now with digital currency and all this shit. And you talk to them about it, they're fucking zombie motherfuckers, man. And they will not look. So, therefore, over the years, I learned, fuck it, just show it to them. Just keep showing it to them. Keep making videos of it wherever you want. The clouds just happens to be one of the easiest areas for me. And it also gets through to people. I know it gets through to people. They just don't admit it. Um, I know everyone can see this. I know everyone can see what I'm showing them. They just will not admit it. Um, same thing with the moon. The moon is great. It's easy for me. I can do moon videos. It's no problem. Um, I get frustrated when they trail me in with the trails. But again, I'm the only one. I'm really literally the only fucking one that's taking videos, real videos of the moon. Come on, man. I mean, now that YouTube's given me all of these options uh, to the right of the screen that are not my own, and I, I'm forced into w watching SpaceX and NASA and bullshit stories and lies, and I'm forced into it because my my computer will automatically finish watching one of my videos. And then it, instead of staying on my channel, it brings me to all these other fucking liars. And I know the temptation for me to call out those liars and start doing videos on their videos and saying, yeah, here you go, liar. Here you go, liar. But you know what that gets me? That gets my channel shut down. It doesn't wake anybody up. Nobody, people will come in and argue and fight with me about it all. And they'll argue with me but they will not go look for themselves. It's fucking ridiculous, man. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I was saying in the last video, so, so here, here's my uncle at the store. Now, you know, I've known him all my life, my whole family, and I, they're all gone now. I don't talk to any of them. It's been a year and a half now since the last of my family. In other words, my father, my sister, um, uh, my some of my aunts and uncles that I was very close to all my life and everything like that, that. I don't deal with anybody anymore. I don't want to deal with their lies. That's all they live their lives by is lies. And you tell them that. You try to explain it nicely. Yeah, it's starting to rain. Um, you try to explain that nicely. And they will not hear it of it. You know, they, no, no. Even if they, even if they do hear of it, they'll say things like, well, yeah, so what? <laughs> you know, so, so what if everything's a lie? You know, what's the big deal? It's like, fuck me, man, you know? So my wife and I um, has been, really, it's been over for a long, long time. We tried hanging in there last four years I would say has been really really bad um, we at least were being 
somewhat cordial with each other. And I guess we still are being what you would call cordial with each other. But our feelings are being heard on both ends. Although I have not started any affairs, I know that she is seeing people over the years. I know she's seeing other people, so it's bothersome. Even though I know that we're not intimate anymore and that you know our relationship has been over. We were trying to still raise the kids together and live in the same house, but not in the same rooms and just try to be away from each other, be cordial. Don't bring your boyfriends back to the house, that kind of thing. She hasn't been that um, uh, bad about it yet, um, but I'm also not a fucking idiot and she lies about everything. She'll lie about she picked up a gallon of milk, but really she didn't. It would be about anything. And then when you confront her about that lie, what time this happened? Oh, it's 7 o'clock. Well, wait a minute. That's impossible because this and this and this, that means it must have been after 10. Oh, well, what's the big fucking deal? Oh, there is no big deal. I'm just saying why I would lie about it. If there's nothing to lie about, then why all these stupid little lies? Why? I'll tell you why. Because they're so used to lying, all of them, all of them, 7.8 billion zombie slaves that we all know are so used to lying to each other and ourselves that that's what we, we choose to do. We just continue to do it. So we'll just it becomes habit forming. We're all habitual liars, but we, yet we only point the finger at a very few people and call them habitual liars. This is something else that I have not ever been able to really explain under your series, Dean, which is the mirror neuron manipulator. I talk about it. I mention it, but I don't fully explain it because I really don't get the chance because there are so many other important things. I don't want to argue with a bunch of people that are going to come in the comment section and tell me how little I know about science, even though I admittedly don't want to know anything about your science. The only science I learn is to learn the lies. If I want to learn what their lies are, then I'll go learn something about science. But otherwise, I have no reason to want to learn about scientific shit, you know? They're all fucking bullshit stories. So I'll learn your numbers and your fake-ass system and everything. But really, when it boils down to it, the mirror neuron manipulator, how that mirror neuron manipulator evolved in all of us is pretty amazing. And... Um, how it allows us to lie to ourselves and each other. And it grants humans, especially, the right to take more from life than what we need without consequence, uh, without psychological consequence. Because otherwise, we're most of us have a mirror neuron. And the only people that don't have a mirror neuron are known as psychopaths. We're taught in our school system and education that psychopaths are bad guys. It's not necessarily the case. Um, we're all bad guys. It's just that um, psychopaths have the ability to um, not need a mirror neuron manipulator where humans, the rest of the human population who does possess a mirror neuron, and um, that's, otherwise there'd be no other way. There's no other creature that possesses a mirror neuron, the elephant, the dolphin, um, the... Uh, Let's see, I think I think apes. I'm pretty sure apes are in that cate in the categories of uh, also having mirror neurons, and um, so in other words, they're not able to take more from life than what they need. Um, an elephant is not going to kill and trample a human unless it has a reason to do so. It doesn't just go putting humans in jail and imprisoning them and, and then killing them for no reason. Right? It doesn't poison them. It doesn't chemtrail them. The elephant that possesses the mirror. Oh, manatees. Manatees also possess a mirror neuron. Um, manatees don't go around killing uh, innocent creatures for no reason, just to kill them. Start a war over here with some ocean creatures and just to see them all die, right? That kind of thing. They don't, no one else does that. Humans have the ability to do that. Why? Because we have a mirror neuron manipulator. We have evolved it. I think it was a human evolvement, the same way that I'm telling you guys that if you notice the true creator's work only shows us feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast over and over from the veil to the ground. Over and over from the veil to the ground, they show us feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast over and over. So that means that anything other than feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast was derived by, by a human's 
dividing atoms. Humans divided atoms come up, and that's a lot of other species. That's a lot of other creatures. When you're looking at bugs and insects and all these other things that are not in the true creator's work. Because remember, the false creator slash creator only stole what was in the true creator's work to do his bio build. Humans stole the false creator slash creator's work to totally fuck show the whole system. And I wouldn't call it a fuck show if we were honest about it. If the truth was told about it to us still, but we lost that 10,000 years ago when we decided to be dumbed down zombie slaves. It's our choice. We are the ones that choose to do this. You are all the ones that are choosing to not look at what it is I'm showing you over the last eight years. That's on you. That's not on the government for hiding it. That's not on the people that we pay to, um, to lie to us. It's not, a, it's not NASA's fault or SpaceX or Elon Musk. It's not their fault that they're lying fucking scum. We pay them to be lying fucking scum so that the next generations of lying scum can all live life pretending that we're not lying fucking scum, you know? So, I mean, and, and we just keep doing it. We just keep doing it over and over. It's been tens, tens of thousands of years at least that we, we keep doing this. Um, the technology that we're, that I'm doing this video on, it's garbage compared to the true creator's work. The true creator's energy, if we wanted to use it, we all could be using it. The only time we ever do use it is accidentally, coincidentally, mistakenly. Um, an example of that would be people who pray to a God that's not there uh, rather than just appreciate the true creator for the energy that it is and use that true creator's energy to travel, communicate, a lot of things, actually. We can use that energy to heat our homes. We can use that energy to um, fuel our cars and and move around in here um, on, an, on another bio scale other than um, using the energy to travel in, a, in another way. You don't have to break your carbons down to travel like Elon Musk is talking about. That's unnecessary. It's bullshit. We're all in this energy together in the true creator's energy together. All we need is um, admittance that it's there. Admittance that it exists right here all around us and that we can see it all. So if you're going to keep refusing to look and refusing to see things for what they are, then my telling you or explaining any of this is useless. It's not going to help. That's why I keep telling you, Dean, and anybody else that will listen, it's not about the words that come out of my mouth. I'm talking these words and I'm saying these words for you, but really they should not be counted on. You should go and look. The true creator will explain everything. All will be told, but it's not going to be told with the lying tongue. The lying ass fucking human tongue. We're a bunch of liars. So it's useless to do it that way, you know? All right, I'm going to take a ride over and see if my uncle left so I can get a coffee and get on to my next place of business here. Um, and let's see if he's gone yet. That's weird. It looks like he was, looks like I just seen him again. His car is not here, but I thought he walked in the store. Let me make sure. Uh, 